Hello and welcome to HyperDog Digital. This is Scott. Today we're going to take a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad T490S. This is another business class laptop by Lenovo and it is a bit more sleek and thin than some of the other business class models we've had a chance to take a look at. Here's the laptop right here. The case is made of plastic, so of course it has your typical plastic feel to it. The weight is a little on the heavy side, but not terrible. On the bottom you have a couple of speakers here on either side. You have your venting. Uh, and that's about it there. Uh, on the top, there's really nothing else except for the ThinkPad logo, and the little dot does light up and, uh, or, and or flash, depending on the current system state. Nothing really on the front, and the back does have a combo micro SD SIM card tray. It's right there. On the one side, you have a smart card reader. Uh, this is an optional uh, item that you can have installed. Uh, this particular one does, does not have it installed, but you can see there is the slot for it. Uh, more venting, standard USB port, and your Kensington lock. On the other, other side, you have a USB Type-C port used for charging, USB-C Thunderbolt, th Thunderbolt 3, and your Ethernet extension port, standard USB, HDMI, and headphone mic jack. On the inside, you can open it up here, and you have a very nice 14-inch screen, decent sized bezels on the top and bottom, fairly small bezels on the side. At the top, you have your camera, which does have, let's see if I can get that up there for you, a think shutter slider, so you can lock out your camera if you don't want somebody to view your camera, if you're worried about that as far as security goes. You also have an IR camera option as well. Standard keyboard layout, backlit, you have a power button, fingerprint reader right down here. Uh, your trackpad and your track point doohickey right here in the middle. The screen will lay all the way flat if that's something that you uh, you like doing there but will not flip all the way around it is not a two-in-one and unfortunately this particular configuration does not have the touch screen option but you can get that when you spec it out and that is really all there is for the physical attributes for the T490S okay so performance wise the T490S performed very well but as with my standard disclaimer, there are different configurations for this laptop, so what you spec out may vary in the level of its performance. The configuration we received was an 8th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 16 gig RAM, 14 inch FHD display that is unfortunately, as I mentioned, not a touchscreen. The battery can last approximately 20 hours depending on which the display is installed. Uh, mine did very well through a full day of work and still had about 40% left at the end of the day. I had no problems running any of my standard work applications, Office, Visio, browsers, mail, etc. I didn't try running any high performance games as, its own, as it only comes with an integrated Intel ultra high definition 620 graphics card. So you're certainly not going to use it for any gaming or high performance gaming machine, but of course that is not what it was designed for. The screen actually looked pretty good, uh, certainly not the highest quality screen available out there, but it served its purpose well and without any issues. The speakers were fine, again not the highest quality, but will certainly sound good enough to watch movies, video conference, or whatever you're going to be using it for. The keyboard and trackpad worked perfectly, no issues with those, the back lighting looks great and is, is bright enough certainly for, for working in low light or no light. Uh, it also ran, it's also been ran through the military grade durability test that Lenovo likes to do, so it should be able to take a fair amount of punishment. Of course, I did not put it through a bunch of punishment because it's not mine and I don't want to break it and pay for it. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at a full list of the specs and available options.
All right, so that's about it. Overall, this is a really good, solid laptop. It's built well. It has enough options to fit just about any need. That being said, nothing really blew me away or made it stand out from the pack of other business class laptops that are out there. Again, it's a solid choice and it's well worth taking a look at and will certainly meet almost any task you design it for. You are also able to purchase docking stations for these as well to make it a little more productive and easier to use when you're not traveling and you're going between offices or, or whatever. So that's really about it. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and we'll see you again next time on HyperDog Digital. Hey, this is Scott for HyperDog Digital. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos and reviews, be sure to check us out at hyperdogdigital.com. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you know when we put up new content. If there's something you'd like us to review or you have a product you want to send us for a review, feel free to send us an email at reviews at hyperdogdigital.com. We're also looking for sponsors right now, so if you are interested in being a sponsor for our channel, contact us at sponsor at hyperdogdigital.com. All of our social media links and emails are in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time.